Hi guys, hope you're well. Today I'm going to show you how you can draw a winder stairs in Revit using the stair by sketch command. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my ground floor level and on the architecture tab select stair. As you can see there are tools in Revit that you can use to create winder stairs. There's the L-shaped winder and the U-shaped winder. I'm not going to be using either of these today. Um, I find these to be quite clumsy to use and never seem to get the outcome that I'm looking for. So today we're going to be using the create sketch option. But before I do that I'm going to insert um, from AutoCAD a sketch of the stairs that I'm trying to achieve uh, which we're going to use today as a base for this winder stairs. So this is what I'm trying to achieve today. So I'm going to unpin that and move that over to here. I can now use this to trace over the top of. So back to the architecture tab, stair, and I need to choose, make sure that I'm doing this in the correct type of stair. So residential timber stairs, that's fine. Base level from ground floor, finished floor level to the top level, which is the first floor level. My desired number of risers today is 14. Okay, so all the parameters there are okay. So now I'm going to click on the create sketch option and make sure that boundary is highlighted. I'm now going to pick lines. So I'm going to select the outer edges of the stairs to create the outer boundary. I'm not going to select this line here or this line here because that is my first and last riser and you don't include those as part of the boundary. Next I'm going to click on the riser button here and again pick lines. You'll notice here at the moment it says zero risers have been created and 14 remaining. If I pick that first riser there, it says one riser created, that one two risers, three risers. So every time I click on one of these lines, it's creating a new riser up to the top of the stairs. So 14 risers have been created. Lastly, I just need to click on the stair path and I'm going to draw lines to show the, the path from the base to the top of the stairs. So it's going to start there, and draw this all the way to the top. Now this line needs to be completely continuous as if it isn't then the stairs won't be created. Now I'm going to click the finish edit mode, check the stairs. Okay, so the arrow is actually pointing in the wrong direction, which is fine. I can click on the flip stairs command at the top here, so I'll click that. And now that's where it starts, that's where it finishes. And I'm going to click the finish edit mode once more to complete the stairs. And now I'm going to delete the AutoCAD sketch to get that out of the way. And we can now have a look what this looks like in 3D. There we have our very simple winder staircase. Looks quite effective. You can create lots of different stairs that look similar to this, different shapes, as long as they meet the parameters set out by the type of stair that you're using. Well, this is very simple stairs, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm hopefully going to be doing more videos like this soon, so please subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.